my six queens here welcome back to another interesting tutorial so today we're going to be recreating this style so let's get into it so for this style i use crepe material and chantilly lace for the upper chest area then the amount of yardage that i use is one yard for the uh, crepe and half yard for the lace and here are the measurements you're going to be needing you need your blouse length your bust uh point and your bust circumference you need the waist length with the waist circumference the hip line and the hip circumference so let's get into it all right so first you're going to fold your fabric into two then after that you are going to fold it like this into four can you see next you're going to draw your guideline which is going to serve as the shoulder so from the shoulder you measure down the nipple point line then the waist length and the length of the blouse which i'm using 30 inches okay then you go ahead you extend these lines so the next thing you're going to do on the shoulder line you're going to import your center back to your desired sleeve length measurement and also take note at the nip or uh, this line is your nipple point line not your armhole that is your shoulder to nipple then we have your waist length and the blouse length okay so on the shoulder line i'm going to measure my center back to the desired sleeve length which i'm going to be using 14 for this so whatever thing you measure just use it okay at the end of the day i want everything to be 15 but i use 14 here because we are still going to be attaching something like a band to it so at the nipple point line you are going to put the post circumference divided by four the post circumference i'm working with is 40 divided by four that will be 10 then you had your ease of one inch and then seam allowance of one inch then on the waistline you're going to put the waist circumference divided by four one inch east and then one inch same allowance then at the blouse length you're going to put the hip circumference divided by four the hip circumference is 44 divided by four that will be 11 i'll put the 11 there then one inch is and, and then one inch allowance okay i use one inch is and one inch allowance then you go ahead you connect these points together okay so the next thing is for you to shape the lower part of the blouse so from the m line just measure upwards 3.5 inches three and a half inches okay three and a half inches and then from that three and a half you are going to create like a curve to the center front of the dress like this can you see you can use your French cuff too, or you just do it with your hand. Next, you come to the nipple point line, then you're going to connect the hand with the body like this. Just cuff your hand the way I'm doing it here, okay? Just use it to connect this sleeve together with the body. All right, so the next thing is to slant the shoulder. Don't forget, on this shoulder line, we have exactly 14 inches, okay? And... Um, the next thing I'm going to do now is just to mark it out very well. Then I'll come to the front. I'm going to measure three inches inward like this. Then at that 14 inches point, I'm going to come down by one and a half inch. Then I'm going to connect the points together like this. Can you see? After that, I'm going to add half inch to this line for sure the same allowance. So the next thing is to put the neckline. I'm going to be making the neck width to be three and a half inches. Since this is folded into four, that means front and back are together. So for the back neck depth, I'm going to measure one inch and I'll connect it this way. Next is to put the front neckline. So for the front, I'm going to be making the neck depth to be three and a half inches. And I'll connect it like this. We are still going to be altering this front neck line, but just do it like this first. All right, so from the starting point again, I'm going to measure about 
eight or seven and a half inches downward you can make it lower than this if you want depend on how low you want the color to be so from there i'm going to connect to the neck like this to the front neckline like this can you see just curve it the way you see me doing here you know that's how you're going to do it so this is now officially the front neckline hope it's clear So when I'm cutting out now, I'll first cut on the back neckline, then I'll cut the shoulder, I'll cut the body. All right. Don't forget to roll from your 14 inches length all the way to the nipple point line like this. Okay. And that's it. We are done. The next thing now is just cut this out. Like I said, I'm going to cut on the back neckline first. So when you're done cutting, the next thing now is to remove the inner layer and that's going to serve as the back of the blouse. So fold this one back into two like this. Then we're going to be creating yoke for it because it's having yoke at the chest area. Okay. So you determine how low you want the yoke to be. So from the shoulder, I'm just going to do six inches. Then I'll connect it like this. Next, what I'm going to do is just to like add like an half an inch to this line upward and rule it. Can you see? Just like this. So from the neck point, that means I have exactly six inches. Okay. So the next thing now is to cut this out. So I'll cut it straight like this. So after cutting out, the next thing now is to replace the yoke with the lace fabric. So make sure you fold your lace into two folds. Then you place the cutout yoke on top of it like this. And then you're going to add seam allowance to the down part. For the seam allowance, you can do one inch. Okay, so just measure one inch downward like this. Then after that, you cut out exactly the shape of the yoke. Okay, the only difference is that the yoke is having one inch allowance at the down part like this. All right. So the next thing now is to take your take to your sewing machine. You are going to join this lace together with the down part of the blouse. You can notch the center this way so that it's easy for you to match them together and join. Okay. So I'll quickly do that on the machine. So just place the lace right side of the lace will be facing the right side of the fabric like this. Then you take to your machine, you join with half inch allowance, okay? With half inch allowance. So let me quickly do that so that we can continue. So I've joined it together and this is how it's looking. So the next thing you want to do now is to bring back the yoke that you cut out before. Place it on top of it so that you can use it to cut the shape of the neckline, okay? So I'll go ahead and cut out the shape of the neckline. Can you see? Then uh, we also go ahead, I will measure one and a half inches downward and I will slit it a bit. So if you want it to be open like the original style we are recreating, you can do that. You can extend this maybe by three inches or by four inches, but I just open it a little below that point so that it's not going to be too open. Like it's not going to open a chest because yeah, that's what my clients want. So the next is just to join front and back together at the shoulder. So place them together, right side facing right side, and you take to the sewing machine, you join the shoulders together. Okay. So the next thing now is just to cut out what I'm going to be using to create the collar as well as the band. So I just measure three inches from my fabric and I roll it down and I'm going to cut it out. It's just a long strip that, has, that, I, that is going to be enough to create the collar as well as the band around the sleeve opening. Okay. So you go ahead, you fuse it with your interfacing. I use soft paper stay here. Then when you're done, fold it into two like this and you're going to iron. When folded into two like this, it's one and a half. Okay. 
so you can also put hemming gum inside it so that it will just stick together like to marry each other nicely All right, the so next thing now is just we'll to join the shoulders together, see. like I said. So from where the slit is at the neck area, I'm going to measure half inch to the left and then half inch to the right. Can you see? Can you see? Half inch to the left, half inch to the right. So I also went down by half inch, then I'll create like a V shape. Is to place this on top of it. So you can make it to be longer by one inch and ensure the raw edge is exactly at the center then you're going to stitch with half inch all around the neckline and back to this other side So oh, turn your fabric to the wrong side so that you can see your seam very well. So that line that we draw earlier, you may not see it again. Just notch, notch from the center now to that, to that line to where your seam is stopping. Do the same thing to the second side. Can you see? Then flip this inside like this. Flip, flip the color inside to the wrong side like this can you see then match them together on top of each other this way match them on top of each other this way turn it upside down so that you can see your previous swing then you stitch on it so that it will remain in place okay then you can go ahead and weave it that's it can you turn it to the good side this is how it's looking can you see this is how it's looking from the good side so the next thing now is to finish the sleeve opening as well it's having the band so place the band on top of it and stitch So after attaching the band to the sleeve, this next thing is just to close the side and hem the down part of the blouse. So I added one inch allowance, so I'm going to be closing the side with just one inch. Okay. So the last thing is just to end the down part of the blouse. So I'm just going to be bending it once like this. Already with the down part, so I'm stitching with half inch. And that will be the end of the tutorial for today. If you have found this video a foot, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new tutorial. And a very big shout out to our channel supporter. They are really, really amazing. Thank you so much. If you want to be the channel supporter as well, you can. 
click the join button and that will make you to become a member thanks for watching today see you next time bye i love you With each sip from your lips You're kissing me dear